Hello everyone, I'm Debbie Major, also known as RoJamDZ and Go Debbie. I'm currently an internet marketing student at Full Sail University and your host for today's podcast showcasing photographer Jack Radcliffe. Jack is a retired professor from Harford Community College of Harford County, Maryland. He just recently celebrated his 72nd birthday on September 17th. I was first introduced to his work while gazing at a black and white photograph of my best friend Sheila. In this composition, I recognized his use of proportion. Golden ratio and rule of thirds was applied. This is the size relationship of the visual element to each other and the whole picture. Her body was also balanced from left to right. And acknowledging how much I love the photo of her, she shared more. I was then taken to his website where she was part of his photographic series known as Gallery 7. The golden mean, or phi, was observed in the next print as her face sets off to the right and your eyes focus into the weight of the cigarette held between her fingers. Everything else seems to fade away into the contrast of light and dark shadows. The use of these elements in this print was very effective in how it affected my emotions. The cigarette to her mouth and her taking a drag was the dominant focal point. I immediately fell in love with his prints and I searched through his website galleries. Jack takes portraits of his friends, family, and people he meets and carefully composes them into rich prints that define documentary photo photography. In his photographs, you feel his lens nurturing the vulnerabilities and innocence of each one of his subjects. He is a photographer who wishes to achieve capturing still images over what he calls long-term long -term intimate commitments. In essence, he captures what is raw, real, and what I call unscripted. Cynthia Wayne, curator of ex exhibitions Alvin O. Kuhn Library and Gallery at UMBC, said of Jack Radcliffe's work is that Radcliffe approaches his objects, his subjects, with an unavoidable compassion and insight. With his sensitivity towards his subjects, the layer of texture he finds with his camera lens, and the richness of tones he achieves with his skillful printing. His portrait mesmerize us with their depth and world-worn vulnerability and innocence. Through their faces and eyes, which he manages sensitivity, sensitively to capture, we are allowed to view their souls. And whether we feel attracted or repulsed by the portraits, we are mesmerized by them, and they are committed to our visual memory. The most intimate of Jack Radcliffe's subjects matters is of his daughter Allison, whom he has photographed since her birth. This is my favorite photo titled Allison Piano, Columbia, Maryland, 1986. My first observation was of a little girl hunched over, perhaps frustrated, about another piano lesson. As I followed other photographs of Allison and soon her, her own body of work, she too an artist, she is a painter, musician, and singer. You can see and feel that the Radcliffe's passion for their work and what they do. Jack Radcliffe's photography has been in numerous magazines to include a spread in Esquire and has had showings all over the world. I had the pleasure of showcasing Jack's photography in the virtual world of Second Life. Here people from around the world were able to teleport to the BOP Art Gallery to see some of his work in a month-long interactive showing in 2010. I hope that you have enjoyed my short podcast featuring photographer Jack Radcliffe. Please go to his website www.jackradcliffe.org to see and learn more.